But that's what we are We usually start our training with the learning outcomes. So we look at the learning outcomes for this training. Do a VCT right here. You can view from this um, monitor. And do a view here. You can view from here. And um, when we're looking at the learning outcomes, we start by, for the solar and weather training, we start by understanding the various types of inverters. Yes, because for a solar system or solar inverter installation, the inverter plays a vital role. And put on the and the inverter installation and maintenance. And also, we're looking at solar panel installation. So you don't just take your solar panel to the sunlight. There are ways you install it. There are particular cable ratings you use. Then, most importantly, we we'll look at the various types of batteries. So we we'll look at battery types, their characteristics. The battery plays a very important role in the solar installation. So we we'll look at the various types of so right here we have a, we have some equipment we'll be working with on our solar training. For example, we have pump meters. So let's look at um, Pickal, what you have on the project um, solar installation topology. So let's look at the solar inverter installation. So solar inverter components. So number one, as you can see, we have the solar panel. We have our solar panel or solar panels. So uh, solar PV panels. That's the first component we're dealing with. And I have a couple of them here to show you. I'm showing you their, their specifications and how to estimate the number of solar panels and the capacity of solar panels you will need it for a particular installation. Like I said, these are outdoor devices. They are just here for um, explanation purposes. Once we are done with this stage of the training, we'll take it out to some light where we are going to connect to our batteries and see how this system works. Then we'll be looking at um, we'll be looking at the charge, the battery charge controllers. So we'll be looking at the battery. Controllers. Uh, you can pass this from the class. Now these are your charge controllers. They are used to, you know, they are used for those two purposes. It's a major component in our solar inverter system. That is the battery charge controller. Then of course we have our battery bank. We have our battery bank. For the purpose of this class, we'll be using these batteries to connect these batteries in parallel to the teaching you how to connect these batteries in series. So these are batteries we'll be using for our training and um, the cables as well that we're going to be using to run our solar panels to the system. So next. Next we have our inverter. Now the inverter is what's going to convert the DC from the solar panel to AC for so alternating current that um, our appliances can use. For example, those of you over here, you can see uh, these are inverter. It takes the DC from the battery and converts it to this AC that electrical appliances can use. Over here, you can see the inverter here it takes the DC from the battery and converts it to AC for electrical appliances. So we're going to be using that um, inverter. I have a couple of inverters here. Um, different brands. I'll use them. We have the power with the different inverter characteristics and um, how inverters are connected to batteries. And cabling is a critical factor when it comes to solar inverter installation. You have to get your cabling right. So we'll be doing um, estimations of the cable sizes you'll be using and the types of cables you'll be using to connect your solar panels to your um, batteries, all that will be estimated. And now, with just the 12 multimeter, you can do all the measurements you need to do. You can check your battery voltage, you can check the charging current, you can check if it's charging, you can check if it's charging properly, you can check that by checking the voltage across the battery and seeing how fast it rises. So, you need the 12 multimeter. So don't make the mistake of getting just the DC 
the AC clamp voltage, which are you have to get a DC clamp because solar panels gives you what kind of voltage? Select function DC is on DC and you can just measure. You can see this battery is about 12.2 volts. Measure in DC. Yeah, it is a bit discharged. Now, if you want to measure the current, when we connect the solar panels, you just have to put the clamp meter. You don't need this. Yeah, you have to put the select alternating current. That's to select current. Then from the function, you're going to select DC. So this is going to measure the current coming to the battery, as you're going to see shortly. So that's how you use the clamp multimeter. Uh, you need so you're gonna check that means this at this select if you want AC current so you press the select. If you want DC current, it measures DC current. So you're gonna be doing some of those measurements with that. So once you do that, the current which the solar inverter is working with will be displayed. Now we are going to do a connection. Uh, we're gonna do some series and parallel connection uh, okay, without okay. inverter. Okay. We are looking at what's the job of the inverter. The inverter converts the 12 volt DC to 220. So I can use appliances because our normal appliances are 220 volts. So the inverter now converts it to that.